Hi everyone, my name is Sigit and I will be presenting NanoSilver in water disinfection. First of all, we all know silver as a valuable metal. However, the antimicrobial effect of silver has been known since antiquity. European and American explorers used silver coins in their water container to preserve water. Ancient Greek and Egyptians used silver jugs to store water, wine, and their other drinks. We also see interesting silver usage in Chinese and Korean folklore. Silver needle was used for poison tests by Eastern medicine practitioners. This is, however, could not be proven scientifically. Nanosilver is also known by many names, among others, colloidal millimicra and submicron silver. Nanosilver is not a new technology. It was first discovered in 1889. The most important properties here, of course, is the nano-sized particles, which ranges from 1 to 100 nanometers. As a disinfectant, it must be in nano size to be really effective. That way, nano silver will have a large surface area and high reactivity towards microbes. Some of nano silver usage are antimicrobial clothing, wound treatments, antimicrobial coatings, medical disinfectants swimming pool disinfectants, and antimicrobial filters. There are various methods of producing nanosilver. However, the most common method is polyascaride method. Here, silver salts such as silver nitrate is used. It would then be dissolved in the water and reducing agents of polyascarides or polymer carbohydrates would be used. Some common ones are sodium borohydrate, citrate, cellulose, and glucose. N2 furnace could also be used instead to reduce silver salts to nanosilver. Perhaps the mystery of nanosilver is its antimicrobial mechanism. It is also known as oligodynamic effect. There are many theories of how silver ions work to damage bacteria cells. The most acceptable mechanism is that silver ions will damage cell membrane, disrupt ATP, and DNA replication and then generate reactive oxygen species and finally it will directly damage the cell membrane of the bacteria. This way bacteria is killed completely. For water disinfection, nanosilver is mostly used as swimming pool disinfectants additives and nanosilver impregnated filter media such as sand, zeolite, ion exchange resin, and activated carbon impregnated with nanosilver. More experiments to find out how to effectively use nanosilver as disinfectants are also undergoing. As swimming pool disinfectants, nanosilver is mainly used as highly effective anti-algae additives. Algae and silverside are EPA certified additives with reported particle size between 20 to 110 nanometers. In the US, it is slowly reducing the usage of chlorine, even though combination of chlorine and nanosilver is still the most 
seen practice in the field. Nanosilver has been tested to be embedded to many surfaces to find the most effective combination. We will see tests for different media type and its results. In this slide, we will see the zeolite and sand beads nanosilver test. Higher nanosilver concentration is required to be more effective. Concentration greater than 0.1 millimole is necessary to effectively kill micro microbes. Average nanosilver particle size in zeolite is calculated to be 85 nanometers and 80 nanometers in sand beads. Zeolite nanosilver shows 1.5 log removal of E. coli to last only for 10 minutes and regrowth is indicated after 10 minutes. For sand beads, 2.5 log removal is achieved and it also only lasts for 10 minutes. Regrowth is also indicated after the 10 minutes period. For ion exchange resin beds, similarly higher concentration of nanosilver should to be more effective. Nanosilver particle in anion resin measured to be 20 nanometers and 13 nanometers in cation resin. Anion resin nanosilver showed 4.5 log removal of E. coli starting from the 10 minutes run and lasts for 60 minutes. Regrowth is seen afterwards. While for cation exchange resin, 7 log removal of E. coli is indicated for the entire 90 minutes run. Then, a combination of E. coli, S. typhimurimum, S. dysentery, and V. cholera pathogens in the water are tested against cation exchange resin, and it showed a 3 log removal for 120 minutes run. Nanosilver activated carbon is the most common nanosilver filter in the field. It is also tested for the mixture. It is showing particle size ranges from 12 to 70 nanometers with a mean size of 20 nanometers. In the test, 1 millimole silver caused 3 log reduction of E. coli less than 30 seconds. With a column test of 0.8 liter per minute, 2.5 centimeters of diameter and 12 centimeters high, 20 milligram nanosilver per 1 gram of activated carbon showed total microbial and coliform removal. It is concluded that at least 9 to 10.5 weight percentage of embedded nanosilver in the final nanosilver activated carbon is required. In my personal experience, I've used nanosilver impregnated granular carbon for point of use applications. However, it is showing a very different result than the research result. In my experience, total coliform was still found to be positive at a 3.7 liter per minute flow rate. The nanosilver carbon filter that I use is a 10 inch column filter. However, this could also due to the fact of improper sample taking procedure and also the amount of and particle size of the nanosilver for the filter are not specified by the manufacturer. 
In summary, nano silver impregnated filter must possess some important characteristics. The particle size must be below 25 nanometer. It must be in crystalline form and it must be dispersed evenly on the filter bed. Furthermore, the higher the nano silver concentration, the more the contact time, the more lethal nano silver is to bacteria. Effective contact time varies depending on filter media mixture. Cation exchange resin nano silver combination is the most effective media based on the test results. What about the other side of the silver coin? Well, we see fear of released silver ions may be harmful for the environment. Nano silver in high concentration is proven to be very toxic to higher organisms as well. It is well documented in a lab test that it causes, it causes organ failure in lab rats. Excessive intake of silver will also cause argyria, which is a skin condition where skin discolor to bluish and gray. In the extreme cases, human fibrosarcoma, carcinoma, and colon cancer are also possible. Luckily for us, silver ions released in the environment quickly form silver sulfide which is not problematic for wastewater treatment plants. Furthermore, only a very low concentration of silver ions is re released freely. And so far, there's no evidence on health and the environment of nanosilver toxicology. Additionally, water regulations have a very strict threshold of silver in the water which is 0 0.01 milligram per meter cube. However, what will happen if we use more and more nanosilver products? Will we release more silver ions and causing silver concentration freely dissolve in the water to spike? In my opinion, it is very possible. My conclusion is that nano silver is proven to be quite effective in water disinfection. Nano silver particle size and shape are crucial for the disinfectant effect. It has to be small to be to build large surface area and hence create more contact time. Shape must also be crystalline. Nano silver filter is most effective with cation exchange resin instead of the more popular nano silver impregnated activated carbon filter. This could perhaps due to the cost and general use of activated carbon compared to cation resin beds in filtration processes. Effective contact time is within seconds to minutes. In my opinion, for a point of use and filtration method, this is not desirable. CT value is linear to lethality effect, meaning more concentration of nanosilver and contact time with the polluted water will result in better pathogens lock removal. In regards to the effect to the environment, nanosilver obviously could be very harmful to the environment if we don't take care of it properly. However, currently nano silver concentration has no evident effect. Mon monitoring nano silver levels in the water and keeping it at a low level threshold are important if we want to use nano silver as our water disinfectant. Thank you very much for your attention and I'm looking forward to the discussion in my presentation.